If we do have some light snow that over the last couple of hours has moved into northeast Michigan, you can see here the darker blue colors just to our west now over I-75 will continue to slide toward the east. And over the next couple of hours, we'll see some slightly steadier rates of snowfall. The National Weather Service has issued winter weather advisories for parts of northeast Michigan, including Oscoda County, Montmorency County, Presco County, and Alpena County, lasting up until 7 p.m. tomorrow. Back to the west from Gaylord over to Traverse City, there is a winter storm warning where, where there will be more intense lake effect snow tomorrow and some higher snowfall amounts. Temperatures right now are fairly pleasant. It's in the lower to middle 20s, 24 degrees in Alpena, winds at 7 miles per hour, making a wind chill of 16, 22 degrees in Atlanta with a wind chill of 14, and 23 degrees in Oscoda with a wind chill coming in at 16. Currently in Alpena, 24 degrees, a wind chill of 16 with light snow currently falling. We have winds out of the southwest at 7 miles per hour. That's providing the seasonable temperatures. As winds shift out of the northwest tomorrow, we're going to see colder air moving in behind a cold front, and that cold front is currently producing our round of some snow. And you can see where that cold front is setting up just about uh, through Lake Michigan into parts of Illinois. Temperatures are in the 20s out ahead of the cold front. We're at 24 degrees. Take a look at some of the colder air back to the west. It's down to minus 3 degrees in Duluth, 0 degrees in Bismarck, a sign of some much colder air coming in our direction. So as we take a look at the Midwest picture of the radar and satellite image, we have some widespread light snow moving through northern Michigan. There is some drier air back to the west, and our current round of snow is in association with that cold front. But the issue for tomorrow is we're going to see northwest winds traveling over Lake Michigan, and that's going to produce some lake effect snow. Again, the heaviest snow will be off to our west, but we will see some snow showers from time to time tomorrow throughout our area as well. So periods of light snow tonight and then lake effect snow tomorrow. There will be some dry periods mixed in there. The lake effect snow will wind down as we go into Friday evening. We'll continue to see very cold temperatures as we go into Saturday, but drier weather moving into our area. Here's a look at how much snowfall I am expecting between this evening and tomorrow evening. Across northeast Michigan in the green color, one to four inches of snow. We'll see some heavier areas of lake effect snow back to our west in the orange areas from Grayling and Gaylord back over toward Bel Air four to eight inches of snow for that area. But as I say, the uh, heaviest snowfall amounts will be off to our west, one to four inches of snow generally across northeast Michigan. For tonight, low temperatures will drop to five degrees in Alpena, seven degrees in Mayo, 11 degrees in Oscoda with light snow continuing this evening and tonight. For tomorrow, high temperatures reaching 10 degrees in Alpena, 14 degrees in Oscoda, and we're going to see wind chill values uh, close to or even below zero throughout the afternoon. So through the day tomorrow, the highest chance of some snow showers will be in the morning to afternoon. Temperatures around five with a wind chill of minus 10 in the morning. Still a chance of snow showers in the afternoon. Highs only reaching 10 degrees and then down to two degrees tomorrow evening. Most of the snow coming to an end, mostly cloudy skies. As we go into Saturday, early morning lows around minus six, a high of 11, likely remaining dry. We have a chance of some snow showers Sunday morning, drying out as we go into the afternoon and evening. Highs around eight. Take a look at the low temperature early Monday morning minus 12 likely a dry start to Monday then as we go into Monday afternoon Monday evening we'll see some snow moving into our area snow showers continuing into Tuesday with a high of 12 a lower chance of some snow on Wednesday 